spirit of the old the spirit of the new tradition and progress past and present in Japan these contrasts blend peacefully together in a lasting marriage of East and West she still dresses in the garb of the past, but in the modern department stores, her friends marvel at the fashions of the new world. fascinating are the products of modern technique. Throughout Japan, one finds the enchantment of old and new, harmoniously woven into a colorful robe. And it is not surprising that in one street, children wear the practical dress of today, whilst in the next, the costume of centuries ago is preferred. The soap bubble world of the toddler makes way for the idealism of the young man, searching for a universal peace and demonstrating against what angers him. But when the struggle for life begins in this overpopulated country, ideals are soon forgotten and replaced by the desire for security and protection in lifelong positions with large concerns. In endless crowds, the men go to work, many to a stuffy office or a drafty workshop. The lucky ones who have survived selection work in modern monster buildings which lack no facility. Some affording the luxury of a car. Japan is the most modern and prosperous country in Asia. Its railways rank among the best in the world. its cities among the biggest. Its industries among the most developed. This is the outside of Japan, the image of a modern Western society. But the Japanese character has its roots in age-old traditions.
in his work. The Japanese differs little from his colleagues in New York and London. But in his way of thinking and mental attitude, he has remained oriental. The great speed with which events have followed one another during the past hundred years has left him little time to adjust himself inwardly. And so his old forms of art, like classical dancing, did not fall victim to the changes, but stayed alive and even developed further. When the American Commodore Perry with his black ships broke through Japan's centuries-long isolation in 1865, he found a feudal society without shipping or industry whose chief means of livelihood was agriculture. The tough perseverance with which the farmer raised enough rice from the largely infertile soil has become a national character trait of the Japanese. The fishermen who supplemented Japan's diet worked hard and suffered much in the deep and ill-stocked coastal waters. The cities were mainly populated by artisans and by a rising class of merchants. The samurai, or feudal warriors, were a privileged class. Their Spartan life was characterized by strict self-discipline and staunch loyalty to their lord. Japanese written history begins about 1,200 years ago. In the annual historical procession of the Heian Shrine in Kyoto, the past comes to life again, beginning with the transfer of the capital from Nara to Kyoto in the 8th century. Before the introduction of the Chinese civilization, the country was populated by primitive tribes, believing in a form of animism that has survived to our day as Shinto, the way of the gods. There are more than 100,000 Shinto shrines, large and small, scattered over the country. This is a shrine dedicated to a guardian god concerned with the lot of the sick. Walking a hundred circles in front of the prayer hall brings recovery. For the doubting Thomas, a heap of discarded crutches and plasters remains as proof of past healings. An important source of income for every temple is the sale of mikuji, written oracles, which one keeps if the prophecy is favorable. But the mikuji telling of bad fortune is better tied to a tree for the wind to carry off its ill tidings. In the Nara period, the time of reforms to the Chinese model, Buddhism was also brought over from China. And existing alongside Shinto, it is still the principal religion. The best loved Bodhisattva is Jizo, the guardian saint of children and travelers, whose image may often be seen by the wayside. Sometimes he wears a bib, which is said to have the power to cure sick children. This temple is dedicated to Fudo, a Buddhist deity who can subdue devils and resist fire. Devout believers offer ardent prayers, 
standing under the cold stream of a waterfall. One of Kyoto's most famous temples is the Kiyomizu, dating from the 9th century. Besides architecture, several other forms of art were originally learned from the Chinese and adapted to Japanese taste. 